Hey guys, Nick Ringus here, and this is just a quick video extension of yesterday's video. Yesterday we talked about how the only only thing that's constant is change. And I told you a story yesterday about how uh, my dad had a bar up the street from a General Motors assembly plant that eventually closed, and he was in a tough predicament there, and he had to adapt and, and change things up, and they you know, instead of just selling alcohol and beer and booze, they, uh, they started selling food as well. So, um, just an extension of that, <clears throat> I brought that topic up to the team today in our, in our weekly call. And I think this is important in terms of great game coaches and great game leaders is that people support what they help create. And it's really important to open it up uh, and and allow the team to think like owners. In the past, I just would have tried to figure this out on my own. Uh, what we're going through in our agency now is it's just becoming harder and harder to sell our services because of competition selling the same things. And, and the market's heard these messages before. They've heard these offers before, and everybody's kind of saying the same thing and promising the same thing. So... Um, instead of in the past, I would have definitely tried to think of, uh, different solutions to this issue or to this challenge. I try to solve this challenge on my own. And now as I'm becoming a great game certified coach and uh, practitioner of the great game in our agency, uh, and after watching Kevin Walter, the great game coach, the guy that I'm shadowing for my certification, um, I thought to myself, kind of what would he do? And and he would allow the team to come up with the answers. He would allow them to act like owners because we can't just give lip service to um, having a team of owners. We have to we have to empower them with those with those decisions and those issues when they come up instead of just making um just having all the answers for the team. So as of late and not just today, but recently over the past couple of months, anytime someone's come to me with an issue, I've been really cognizant of, of how I respond. And I'm, I'm super aware of not giving them an answer like I used to in the past. And instead asking them for their opinion, you know, what do you think? If you were an owner, if you were in my shoes, what would you say? Um, I think in practice, that's how you get people to think and act like owners. And today was no different. In our team call, I kind of told them what was going on and what was on my mind, the challenge that we were facing. And I opened it up for ideas as to how to best solve this issue of kind of offering, you know, the same thing as everyone else. And it's getting harder and harder to sell uh, our services. It's not as easy as it used to be when um, when we were the first one doing certain things and offering certain things and there wasn't as much competition in the marketplace. So I kind of, um, I, di I didn't let up either. At, I also would have in the past kind of just let them off the hook if they didn't have any ideas and just said, all right, that's fine. I'll think about it myself kind of thing. Uh, but I didn't let them off the hook. I asked the question, you know, if you were the owner, if it, we're going to continue to struggle or to have a hard time selling our services, uh, as long as, as we do this and we offer the same things as everyone else, and until we come up with a solution for this challenge, we're going to continue to have a hard time selling our services. We're going to be swimming upstream or pushing a, pushing a boulder up a hill. So I waited for their answers and I got very good answers um, and ideas. We started a little brainstorming session, but it was great to see them come up with ideas as how they would solve the issue. And I was, um, I was really careful not to shut down any brainstorming by judging any ideas because you have to just, you have to take the good with the bad in terms of ideas and ter when you're brainstorming so that you get to the crazier ideas that are good and bad. Um, but you'll never get to the good crazy ideas unless you get through that initial period of just spitting off whatever's on the top of people's uh, minds. I hope that makes sense. Um, so that was just 
a little example of my day and how people support what they help create, how to develop an ownership mentality in people. Uh, something that I learned from the coach that I'm shadowing is to allow them to come up with their own answers as if they were the owner of the business and see what they say. And it takes a while to get people thinking like an owner. It doesn't happen overnight. And um, that was something that we said in, in one of our training, recent training um, courses or, or sessions is that, okay, you're telling people that now you can think like owners and it's not overnight that they're like, okay, I'm going to think like an owner now. That, that's not how it works. Uh, it's cool that you put out a bonus plan and you tell people that they can think like owners and, and they can have an impact on their pay and on their bonus. But it really takes time to develop that kind of mentality week in and week out as people come to you with challenges and as challenges uh, come up. Um, to allow those people to sp to speak up and to think as owners. It's a practice and it's a muscle that you have to work out and get better at. <clears throat> All right, guys. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know. As always, people support what they help create. Um, thanks for watching.